We all know the atomic bomb is very dangerous. Since it may be used against us, we must get ready for it, just as we are ready for many other dangers that are around us all the time. Cuba fuel uh, was delivered into the two smaller pipes. The oxidizer would have been delivered into the two smaller pipes. The fuel and the oxidizer then would work their way through the engine and finally into the combustion chamber where the fuel and the oxidizer would come together and would mix. And again, because the fuel and the oxidizer were hypergolic, would ignite, producing thrust and lift the vessel. Now, one important feature of this stage one engine is the butterfly bound lock here in the oxidizer pipe to prevent an inadvertent or an unauthorized launch. That valve would remain locked until a nuclear strike was ordered by the President of the United States. Now, once that uh, order is uh, given uh, uh, by the President, uh, then uh, the launch combat uh, emergency action uh, message would be transmitted from headquarters SAC, located at Offutt Air Force Base, Omaha, Nebraska, and also from 15th Air Force, and at that time located at March Air Force Base, Riverside, California. The Man and Man 3 ISBN entered service back in August of 1970. Approximately 1,800 were produced. Today, approximately 500 are on alert, are located in the states of Wyoming, Montana, North Dakota, Colorado, and Nebraska. Man and Man 3 can carry three nuclear warheads. Uh, the final uh, decommissioning date, retirement date for the Man and Man 3 has been set for uh, December 2020. We have four blast doors down here. We have blast door six and seven here at this first blast lock here. They're standing in. Behind me at this second blast lock here, we have blast doors eight and nine. Each one of these four blast doors is constructed of steel. Each door weighs 6,000 pounds or three tons per door, and each door hangs on two needle bearing hinges. Now, once a uh, blast door six and seven here at this first blast lock here, they were standing in. Uh, once these two doors were closed and locked, the crew on the vessel were protected from over 300 pounds per square inch overpressure produced by a nuclear blast. In comparison, only five to eight pounds per square inch overpressure produced by a tornado will completely destroy your house. Nothing left of your house. Once a uh, blast door eight and nine at the second blast lock here behind me were closed and locked, the crew was protected from their own muscle and its serious mishaps, toxic vapors, etc. Thank <laughs> you.